What's up guys? How are you all today? Okay, um, I was thinking about to uh, bring another important topic for Los Madridistas and specifically about a Real Madrid player who, in my opinion, will be still important for Ancelotti, but it's pretty obvious he's not living the best moments in his life. He's actually struggling, and although he's doing a great job in the national team of Belgium, of course, his position in Real Madrid, his situation in Real Madrid actually is not guaranteed. And this year might be worse if Kylian Mbappe finally signs for Real Madrid. As you probably can imagine, I'm talking about Eden Hazard. And of course, I would like to bring in the debate about the Belgium player because what is pretty obvious is that although he's still a good player, in my opinion, Carlo Ancelotti has to change or will have to change a lot of things so he can find a spot in the lineup every single weekend on Real Madrid. For example, let's get started with the details. First thing, first problem for Idan Hazard. What is going to happen with Kylian Mbappe? I mean, if the French player signs finally for Real Madrid, it's very easy to understand that he will be the first option, the first choice for Ancelotti for the left wing. I mean, regardless the position Kylian Mbappe or the different positions Kylian Mbappe can play in, it's pretty obvious that the first natural place for Kylian Mbappe is the left side of the field. So what happens is when you have to Eden Hazard playing in that side of the field, uh, there are no many chances for him to still um, to keep playing weekend in, weekend out. You know what I'm saying? So that way, we might see how Kylian Mbappe replaces to Eden Hazard in the level of importance in, you know, the, I don't know, the spectrum, in the ideas, in the mind of Carlo Ancelotti. So that way, we might see way ahead to Mbappe over Eden Hazard. The second thing is... How is he doing when it comes to injuries? I mean, what we have seen in this European Championship is, although he, in my opinion, is trying to bounce back and feel better and heal him from all these multiple injuries he's been going through over the last two years, I'm a little bit skeptical when it comes to Eden Hazard because you never know how serious is he taking this thing? I mean, is that true? He's already ready to go and is preparing much more seriously than before the, um, you know, the body condition. Is he working out seriously? Is he showing up in the practice every single day? Is he adding extra hours to his, you know, with different coaches and, and, um, physical therapies and all the stuff, is that true? Because if it's not, then I will be a little bit more skeptical than before and I will be very hesitant when it comes to believe that Dinan Hazard can really become a best version or a better version than we saw on the last two seasons. You know what I'm saying? So that is the point number two. And the point number three and last point Last thing we have to keep in mind when it comes to Eden Hazard. There are a couple younger players in Real Madrid who are still waiting for their moment in Real Madrid, you know? And I think that the time has come for them. And from the board members in Real Madrid, there are a lot of pressure coming into the locker room of Real Madrid, specifically towards Carlo Ancelotti, to put him on the lineup and counting on them this year because this is going to be the final test for both of them. I mean, I'm talking about Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo Goes. When you have a couple of gems like these two young Brazilian players, these rising stars in your squad, the last thing you want to do is to sit down them in the bench. I mean, the first thing you have to do is to put them in the lineup. But when you have stars like Kylian Mbappe, Karim Benzema, or even Eden Hazard, what are you going to do? Because you are supposed to line up the young players, the youngsters, to 
excel and of course to become the most important players for the next decade in Real Madrid. But when you have players like Eden Hazard, who is still, in my opinion, one of the big names in Europe, and potentially Mbappe can, might sign for Real Madrid this year, how in the world is everybody going to understand Carlo Ancelotti lining up people like Rodrigo Goes and Vinicius Jr., who barely scored five to six goals each last season? I mean, it's pretty obvious, it's very difficult to um, get it, to understand. So, from that perspective, in my opinion, the future of Eden Hazard and Real Madrid, it's going to be dark, man. I don't really know if we will finally see to the player, the great player he used to be in Chelsea. So, we should be assuming already that Eden Hazard might have another role in Real Madrid might change completely the, the role in this team and become a important but secondary player right after people like Mbappe, Rodrigo, or even Vinicius Jr. You understand? So that is my point, that is my take, and that is one that I wanted to share with you all so I know what is your opinion about that. So comment in the section below, and of course, and of course, subscribe to my channel, Real Madrid Hub.